Today on Winnie Golf, I'm going to show you the perfect setup for a successful chip shot. Believe me, you won't want to miss today's lesson next on Winning Golf. He's got a chance. Could it be? It's in the cup. Wow. Winning golf, that's what we play. It's in the hole. Working on that short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. Cause with Winning Golf. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins and today Winning Golf comes to you from the gorgeous Cedarbrook Country Club. And joining me as our host today is the president of the Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. His name is Pat Duffy. Pat, welcome back to Winning Golf and Pat, I'd like to take a moment to thank you and all of the Tri-State Buick GMC dealers for your support and partnership in 2023. We have a very exciting winning golf season ahead of us. And speaking of exciting, we have a wonderful and talented group of contestants. We have a gorgeous host facility. Pat, I can hardly wait to get the fun and competition started. You and me both, Doug. I tell you, the, the Tri-State Buick GMC dealers, this is a day we look forward to every year. We can't wait to just have a great day here at Cedarbrook Country Club. We've got beautiful weather and we're looking forward to some great instruction from you. Well, thank you, Pat, for your kind words. Now a simple question from my Tri-State team. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! Oh, I love your enthusiasm. Now our first skills challenge today is a putting contest. Mike Strometz, CJ Cole, and Raphael Miraca has been invited to participate. Here's the contest, fellas. All three of you will putt from 10 feet at the same time. Now, whoever rolls it in first will win the prize, and what a prize it is. How about a gift certificate to the beautiful Desmond Hotel? Sound great, everybody? Awesome, what a prize. Let's get ready to putt. Okay, Raphael, Michael, and CJ are ready to putt from 10 feet. Ready, guys? One, two, three, putt, and here they come. Will somebody get it to the hole. These greens are rolling beautifully. Have a chance. It's in the hole, CJ Cole. Well, CJ Cole, congratulations. That was a beautiful roll from 10 feet, and now you'll get to enjoy some delicious food and beverage at the beautiful Desmond Hotel. CJ, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Doug, it was a great contest. You know, fun uphill putt into the hole. Two shots. I liked it. Uh, looking forward to a great night at the Desmond Hotel. Well, thank you, my friend. Well, as you can see, the Tri-State Buick GMC dealers, they know how to play some winning golf. And the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's host facilities, one of the elite clubs in the entire Philadelphia region, the spectacular Cedarbrook Country Club. Cedarbrook Country Club opened its doors in 1962 and offers its members a championship golf course, a spacious 25-meter pool, a tennis complex with four hard and two hard true courts, and a stunning 30,000-square-foot clubhouse. Recent renovations and additions include an expanded kids' summer camp area, four pickleball courts, a tennis pro shop patio, and a beautiful covered outdoor member dining patio and bar adjacent to the member grill room. We've focused as well on our clubhouse amenities, including our children's summer camp, our, um, our tennis program. Rackets are, are really taking off just as much as golf is these days. Uh, pickleball is something new. Members are excited about that. And then an outdoor dining experience that's really spectacular, um, overlooking the, uh, the, the putting green and the practice area uh, from the clubhouse. The cornerstone of activity centers around the breathtaking golf course, which from the back tees measures over 7,000 yards. The scenic layout, originally designed by William Mitchell, provides its members with five permanent sets of tees, four blended tees, 13 bridges spanning the Wissahickon Creek, lakes, ponds, expansive greens, and the newly renovated back nine designed by architect Jaeger Kovic. Um, so we redid all of 10, new tee on 11, a new green on 12, new tee on 13, new tee on 14, all of 15, all of 16. It's obviously a very large project. Uh, Jaeger Kovic was our architect and designer of that. Um, a lot of big changes here on the golf course, I'm sure as you can see. I think say the thing that stands out most to me is what we did on 10 and what we did on 15. The fairways for holes 10 and 15 have been reconfigured. 
all making for an even more amazing member experience. The course irrigation system and drainage to other greens has also been updated, making course maintenance even more practical as we work to uphold the high standard of maintenance Superintendent Tim Kelly has made possible. The pristine par 72 golf course is simply a course that you never get tired of playing. The golf operation also provides its members and guests with a state-of-the-art practice facility, including a 325-yard driving range, three short game practice greens, as well as a large practice putting green. The highly dedicated professional golf staff offers a well-stocked pro shop, a vibrant tournament program, private instruction, as well as group clinics and custom club fitting services for men, women, and juniors. In addition, Cedarbrook Country Club is proud to be recognized within the Philadelphia community as a club that provides outstanding cuisine served professionally. Whether you enjoy a light fare luncheon by the pool or a gourmet dining experience in the Cedarbrook room, you are sure to be pleased with the attention to detail and quality in the restaurants of the club. The clubhouse has three main dining rooms plus a grand ballroom, which allows a dedicated and professional clubhouse staff to accommodate event sizes from 10 to 225. If you're interested in learning more about membership options or scheduling a member-sponsored event, golf outing, wedding, corporate meeting, or any special celebration, please call 215-646-9410 or check out the web at cedarbrookcc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Brian Schuler, Doug Hill, Rob Bellin, Rafael Muraca, Mike Stromatz, Pat Duffy, Brian O'Reilly, Carl Faust, John Simonelli, Stacy Summers, Casey Garwood, CJ Cull. Our players are set for Doug's Foot Joy lesson tip and shoe contest. Foot Joy, the number one shoe in golf. Today's Foot Joy contest comes to you in three parts. Part one, I'm going to share with you the perfect setup for a successful chip shot. Part two, Casey Garwood's going to put my chipping setup into action. And part three is the Foot Joy contest where all of you will get to try my chipping tip and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. Are you ready for this? How about a gorgeous pair of Foot Joy shoes, the number one shoe in golf? Oh, yeah. 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 What a prize. So let's talk about the chipping setup. Now I believe most golfers are aware that your ball should be back in your stance and your hands should be forward. The question is how far back and how far forward. Unfortunately, through my daily instruction, I see a lot of players with their ball way too far back and their hands way too far forward. This setup position right here causes two major problems. Number one, this is a pitching wedge, but when I set up at this angle, this pitching wedge is more like a seven iron. That's gonna cause a problem. Number two, this setup causes a very steep angle of attack. And when you get too steep, the leading edge tends to dig into the turf, and we hit something we very, you've heard before, I'm sure, called a chunk shot. That's when your club's coming so steep, you hit the ground first and the ball goes about five feet. So we wanna get rid of that problem. Here's the fix. Number one, if the pin's in the back of the green, I'm a big fan of chipping with a seven iron. But instead of taking the pitching wedge and awkwardly turning it into a seven iron, I would just select my seven iron to chip with. That's number one. Then I would make sure the ball's in the middle of my stance. There's no need to have the ball further back in the middle. And then I would have my hands slightly ahead of the golf ball, not way ahead of the golf ball. My final step is to take my upper body and simply move that weight over my front leg a little bit, and I leave it there the entire stroke. Here's the great news. If you get this chipping setup routine down, you will have one decision at game time, and that is simply which club am I gonna chip with? Sound like a plan, everybody? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, before we get to the very exciting foot joy contest, I would love for Casey Garwood to come up. Have a nice applause for Casey. All right, All right Casey, so what club are you holding? Uh, pitching wedge. Okay, that's a good, the green's here in mint condition, so even though we're going uphill a little bit, I think that's the right club. I want you to get in the perfect setup for me, okay? So let's okay. get set up with the ball in the middle of your stance. So if I look down, the ball should be right there. We're going to move your hand slightly ahead of the golf ball and then I'm gonna bump a little weight into that front leg. And you're gonna keep it there the entire shot. Okay. okay, and then we're gonna take it back and through with our arms and shoulders, keep the wrist quiet. 
look at where you want to land it, and let's see what happens, okay? I'm going to okay. step back with this awesome Tri-State Buick GMC team. When you're ready, let's give it a try. Wow, look at this chip shot, everybody. That is a thing of beauty. Casey Garland, oh, right over the left of the hole. Casey, you were a model student today. I hope you learned a lot with the tip. Thanks for the tip, Doug. I really appreciate it. You're quite welcome. Well, Tri-State team, are you ready to win a pair of FootJoy shoes? Yeah. Let's go. Our FootJoy contest is a 40-foot uphill chip. Rob Bellin listened well to Doug's tip. And that's about pin high. Well done, Rob. Rafael Muraca chipping his ball to just under eight feet away. Look at this thing, Raphael. Well done. Brian O'Reilly has a good feel for this shot. Brian O'Reilly with a 56, and that is pin high. Well done, Brian. Brian Schuler makes a run at the shoes with this shot to less than seven feet. Look at this touch by Brian. That's a thing of beauty. Well done, Brian. But Casey Garwood takes the prize with this winning golf shot to three feet, 10 inches. Look at this touch by Casey. That is winning golf by Casey Garwood. Casey, congratulations. Your great setup led to a great chip shot, and now you'll be lacing up a gorgeous pair of FootJoy shoes, Casey, the number one shoe in golf. But my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add an amazing putter to those new FootJoy shoes? Doug, that'd be awesome. Well, Casey, you seem like a great guy, so I hope you get the opportunity when winning golf returns. What do you do when you take the lead? Run with it. Redefine it. Push further. Get it wrong to get it right. Don't just lead the pack. Pull others to the front. Rise up. Stand out. Step forward. Finally, a tour level launch monitor for every golfer. The Bushnell Launch Pro. Technology used by virtually every tour pro to know their numbers and improve their game. Personal launch monitor with unmatched accuracy and performance, both indoors and out. Improve your game, boost your confidence, lower your scores. The Bushnell Launch Pro, accuracy above all. Prizes and tee gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Titleist Golf Balls. Titleist, the number one ball in golf. And by Per Golf, training systems for the tour player and the rest of us striving to get there. Per Golf. Scotty Cameron Putters, the choice of champions. Scotty Cameron Putters. And Shine Nutrition, health meal replacement shakes, energy teas and treats. Just what your body needs. Shine Nutrition. Doug Hendricks' wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. With winning golf, everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our Titleist Challenge. Titleist, the choice of the world's best. In our next exciting contest, one of you could take home the number one putter in the game of golf today. Are you ready for this? How about a Scotty Cameron putter? Yeah. That awesome? What a prize. So here's the deal. Our amazing host, Pat Duffy, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will then have two chances from only 10 feet to roll in a putt. If successful, he will take, or she will take home, a Scotty Cameron putter. So needless to say, this contest is going to be very exciting. And speaking of exciting, Pat Duffy, who's our lucky contestant today? Well, let's see My you, heart dog. is beating rapidly. Hey, everybody excited? We're going to drum roll. Yeah. We're drum roll. Who do we have here today on these beautiful greens at Cedarbrook? Can we give away a Scotty Cameron? There it is. Go figure. Winner, winner. Brian O'Reilly. Come on down, Brian. <laughs> Brian, come on down here, my friend. All right, let me review the contest. All right. Two putts from 10 feet. Okay. You roll one in. All you're, right. You're the new owner of a Scotty Cameron putter. Awesome. You up for the challenge? I'm up for it. Let's, Let's go do it. it. OK, Brian O'Reilly has two chances to roll in a 10-foot putt if successful. Brian will add a Scotty Cameron putter to his bag, just like I did this season. And he's rolling it up there right at the hole. Oh, just over the right edge. Oh, he's got a mulligan here, so let's see if he can seal the deal. And it's a beautiful roll. He's got a chance. Brian O'Reilly is right in the heart of the hole. What an amazing putt under pressure. Well, Brian O'Reilly, congratulations. That was an amazing putt under an awful lot of pressure. The camera was rolling. You had a big gallery around you, plus an amazing prize on the line, and you still drained that 10-footer. Brian, in your future with this new putter, I see a lot of birdies, my friend. 
Doug, there's nothing better than winning on winning golf. <laughs> well, thank you, Brian. That's an awesome comment. Well, thanks to Titleist, we just gave away an awesome prize. And the great news is this. We still have a ton of wonderful prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one, a 20 yard pitch from the rough. CJ Call leads the charge. And look at this touch by CJ. That's winning golf, my friend. Great job. Wow. Brian Schuler pitches his ball to just over five feet. Just nice and soft. This should come right back down the hill. And boy, look at this touch by Brian. That is a thing of beauty. Brian Shore, everybody. Right. Mike Strometz's effort is an inch closer. Boy, he's got the line. Will it come down towards the cup? And here it comes. And that's a beautiful soft touch by Mike Strometz right there. Doug Hill pitches it just inside of that. From 20 yards with a 54 degree wedge. And look at this touch by Doug. That is gorgeous shot. Well done, Doug. But check out Brian O'Reilly's pitch. But look at this touch by Brian moving from left to right. Brian is on fire today. That is winning golf. At one foot, 10 inches, he takes the round. Round two features a 90 foot chip. It's no problem for John Simonelli. This one could be very close to the cup. John Simonelli, everybody. It's winning golf, my friend. Winning golf. Brian Schuler continues to show off his short game skills. And look at this touch by Brian. And it will be right below the cup. Beautiful. Uphill putt from there will take that. Rafael Muraca showing good form to seven feet, four inches. This should come a little bit left to right and still coming. And that's a great touch by Rafael Muraca. All right. Great touch. Cool. Thank you. Beautiful. Doug Hill's effort looks very good. Three feet, nine inches. This one's got a chance to get very, very close. And look at this touch by Doug Hill. Doug, incredible shot, buddy. Thank you. Incredible. But Mike Strometz steals the round with this nifty pitch to just three feet. This should move from left to right pretty hard, and here it comes right down towards the cup. Look at a shot by Mike Strometz. That is winning golf right there. Unbelievable. Up next is our putting round. Stacy Summers has a good read on this 30-footer. Beautiful touch by Stacy. Very well done, Stacy. Great job. Pat Duffy has a good putting stroke. And that is pin high. All right, buddy. Good try. Pat Duffy, everybody. Carl Faust rolling his ball to just under two feet from the cup. This is moving from right to left, and that is right on line. And look at that touch by Carl. Wow. Casey Garwood's putt sneaks just inside of that. With a beautiful setup and a beautiful stroke, that should come back towards the cup. It's a beautiful touch, Casey. Thank you. Well done. Mike Strometz has been hot all day. Left. This one's got a chance. Mike Strometz. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> but Rob Bellin leaves no doubt with his putt. This one's got a chance. Rob Bellin going right at it. It's in the cup. What a putt by Rob Bellin. He sinks it to take the round. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks, brought to you by Thermal Solutions, a dynamic mechanical insulation contractor, presently celebrating 17 years of excellence. Thermal Solutions. I'm on the tee today with Trevor O'Brien, the golf chairman here at the beautiful Cedarbrook Country Club. And Trevor, just a great pleasure to meet you. It's a joy to bring winning golf back to Cedarbrook, and certainly one of the reasons is every time we come back out, something new and exciting is happening. What makes this place so special, Trevor? Well, welcome, Doug. Um, uh, it is a special place. Uh, I'll tell you, Cedarbrook has changed immensely over the last probably 12 to 14 months. Um, I think you probably have taken a look at the course. Uh, the renovations that we've just completed on our back nine have, are spectacular. Uh, I think as a, as a member here at Cedarbrook and as the golf chairman here at Cedarbrook, I think what's really amazing is the people that we have and the staff that we have, uh, followed mainly by our superintendent, Tim Kelly, is just doing a phenomenal job on what we have here as a beautiful piece of property. Um, the membership couldn't be more thrilled with the changes and the changes that we continue to make in the coming year. It's just going to be an amazing facility. Uh, it's going to improve every day. Uh, we can't be more excited. 
Well, Trevor, I can tell you from a host and production person here for winning golf, I can tell you that the staff here is great to work with and the members are incredibly friendly when I come out here. So you put that combination together, good things will happen. So I'm happy for you. I'm happy for the membership, the staff, and Cedar Brook. And I look forward to a great future and, and coming out and seeing some more new things. Well, we welcome to have you. We can't wait to have you back because you'll be even more impressed with the next phase. Well, thank you for your time today. Great to meet you. You too, Doug. And I'll see you next week on the team. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week our players are tested with this 25-yard downhill chip shot. Brian Schuler chips it nicely to 7 feet 9 inches. And that's a good effort by Brian Schuler. Well done, Brian. Rafael Muraca has a good effort. Rafael Muraca, it's a good touch, Rafael. Well done. Casey Garwood is the first to less than seven feet away. Oh, this could hit the hole. This could go in. Casey Garwood right over the lip, and what an effort by Casey. John Simonelli grabs the first spot in our playoff with this gem to less than five feet. 25 yards. It's a very soft shot, and that will be right below the hole. And look at that touch by John. And Brian O'Reilly grabs the other spot in our final with this masterful chip shot. Boy, this looks very soft, moving from right to left. Look at this touch by Brian. That's winning golf, Brian O'Reilly. So it'll be O'Reilly and Simonelli battling it out for this week's championship when winning golf comes right back. The GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Or get 0.9% APR plus over 1,200 trade assistance and no monthly payments for 90 days on Sierra 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 V8 light duty models. Titleist T-Series irons. Precise in every dimension. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Bushnell, the number one laser rangefinder in golf. Bushnell. Vokey SM9 wedges. Choose closer. Vokey SM9 wedges. And by Ahead, advanced headwear, embroidery, and design. Ahead. Outerwear provided by Footjoy. Footjoy performance outerwear. Layer up with Footjoy. Welcome back to Winning Golf. We're all set for our Belfour Up and In Playoff. Belfour Property Restoration. Restoring more than property. We are on the 18th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a beautiful championship trophy, and the chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous GMC Sierra 1500. Now the rules for the Belfour Up and In Playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the Belfour up and in playoff will be a 30 yard uphill pitch from the rough. John Simonelli will have the honors. John carries a 20 handicap and plays most of his golf at Fox Chase Golf Club. And boy, it's a nice touch though. He wants to stay below the cup here because it's very fast. And now it's Brian O'Reilly's turn. Brian owns a 13 handicap and enjoys his golf at French Creek Golf Club. And he pops it up there nicely. And look at this touch by Brian. That's a great shot under pressure by Brian O'Reilly. Well, John Simonelli is 15 feet uphill. Let's see if he can give it a nice roll. Good setup, good stroke. And that's just past the hole. The greens are moving very fast here. Brian O'Reilly has six feet to become the winning golf champion. There's the putt. It's going right at it. Oh, just off the right edge. Brian will take his time and tap that in. And that's in for a three. John Simonelli can roll this in. We'll have, a, we'll have a chip off to determine our champion. Very challenging putt down the hill. Here it comes. It's in the hole. We have a chip off to decide our winning golf champion. And now our Belfour playoff comes down to one chip shot from 40 feet. John Simonelli will go first and try to nestle one close to the hole. And here it comes. And look at this touch by John. 
And that is a great shot under pressure. Looks like about three feet from the hole. And now it's Brian O'Reilly's turn. He will need to get his chip shot inside of three feet to become the winning golf champion. Here it comes nice and high and soft. And that's a beautiful touch, but John is inside, which means John Simonelli is our winning golf champion here at the beautiful Cedar Brook Country Club. Boy, John, your putter was working today, your wedges were working today, and you hit the pressure shots when it counted. That's what great champions do. John, I just hope you had a great experience today with winning golf. I had an awesome time uh, and with an awesome host here. Well, thank you, John. Well, your awesome time could get a lot better in a few minutes because I'm going to give you the chance to putt, John, from only 60 feet mm -hmm. for the keys to a gorgeous GMC Sierra 1500. John, this is a gorgeous vehicle, so my question is, do you have one more pressure putt in you today? I think I do. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> well, I love your confidence, my friend. Well, now I've got a great feeling about this next putt, so whatever you do, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. The GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Or get 0.9% APR plus over 1,200 trade assistance and no monthly payments for 90 days on Sierra 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 V8 light duty models. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the new GMC Sierra 1500 at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Each week, our Winning Golf champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous GMC Sierra 1500. Winning Golf is very thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealers sponsoring this thrilling event. Today's Winning Golf champion, John Simonelli, is only 60 feet away from the cup, if he can dial in this 60-foot putt, John will win the keys and a two-year lease to a spectacular GMC Sierra 1500. So here it comes from 60 feet. The line looks good. The speed looks pretty good. It's breaking from right to left. And that's a great effort by our champion, John Simonelli. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's thrilling show from the breathtaking Cedarbrook Country Club. I would personally like to thank the entire Cedarbrook staff and membership for their very warm welcome and amazing hospitality. Also a very special thanks to my wonderful host Pat Duffy and his Tri-State Buick GMC team for providing us with another day filled with lots of laughs, great camaraderie, and plenty of winning golf memories. And lastly, please don't forget, great setups often lead to great shots. Hey, thanks so much for watching Winning Golf, the show where, as you know, everybody wins. Everybody wins.